Happy Monday, guys. I already have been working all morning on getting this house back in order from our Christmas parties. So we had a Christmas party at our house on Saturday, and then we had a Christmas party at our church on Sunday. So I didn't get a chance to really clean the house after um, the party that was here. So I've been busy all morning, started with our room, cleaned all that up. Um, we had like a pack and play up there for my nephew and just laundry that I just like threw up there <laughs> to get it out of the way. So I cleaned our bedroom, made our bed, made my way downstairs, um, cleaned off the dining room table. We had like Amazon boxes and leftovers from the party, like just trays and cups, and just, you know, all the random stuff. Um, so I did all of that and then we had breakfast because I always have breakfast. That's like my big thing for the day I we always have a hot breakfast or you know we have a sit-down breakfast have my coffee it's very important to me um, and then I've just been cleaning ever since I'm doing laundry and I just tackled Evie's bedroom I mean she was in here with me helping and it's not even like her fault necessarily like she can clean her room by herself when she's done playing it's when her friends come over and they all like make a big mess together. There was just stuff everywhere. And she's in the phase of like loving to peel off the paper from the crayons. So there's like paper shreddings everywhere. And now Lara's crawling. So now I'm like hypersensitive to cleaning the floor because she puts everything in her mouth. Um, so we just did that. And now she's cleaning, cleaning the basement. I don't know how much cleaning she's going to do right now, but it's okay. I don't care if she just goes down there and plays because I went through her room and cleared out a few things that she's not playing with or are broken. Um, a few stuffed animals. She's not really so into stuffed animals. She has a couple that she loves, but the other ones were just kind of like sitting in her closet. So I got rid of those. Um, we got rid of some toys like under her bed in these bins in here and then we have this little setup here this is her play school nativity but that is like a bin of just random randomness that kids collect so i went through that she has all her trains in the basement right now so these were just two that normally go in another one of these bins here this is like it was a garland a felt garland that was really cute and it the string broke and now she just like plays with the the little uh, balls and I don't know I don't want these sitting around for Lara to find so I'm just gonna throw them away um, I am in hyper purging mode because our offer was accepted on the house yay I'm so excited so we are officially under contract um, on the other house Ooh, I'm so excited and we're under contract in this house because we signed this contract um, like a week and a half ago so we're officially moving forward with buying this house which is so exciting and yes is making me want to purge everything out of this house and get it as easy to move as possible so um i have to call we do um attorney review um you know i'm sure if you've sold house i guess it's also called underwriting but um basically you know the attorneys look over the contracts make sure everything's fine and with our contract, um, you know, with selling our house, there's going to be obviously like a clause that says we're only going to sell if the purchase of this new house goes through. We're not going to sell our house and then something happens and we can't buy the other house and now we're homeless. Like, we'll, we'll make it so that, you know, they'll both coordinate and we're hoping to coordinate the closing so that um, we're not again like homeless or like we sell this house and then it's like what do we do with our stuff until we close on the other house so we're still working on all those details um we'll need to schedule our um, home inspection for i mean they're gonna schedule it to inspect our current house and then we need to schedule to inspect the new house and i'm just so excited i mean what what a christmas present right we're just so so thankful and blessed and um, again, I mean, nothing's a done deal yet. There's still lots of moving pieces and, we, you know, things need to be finalized, but we're moving forward with it and it's looking like it's going to happen. So we're very, very excited about that. So I'm just trying to really clean the house today. That's my goal. I need to, um, I have like sort of a scheduled call with our attorney to do, talk about the attorney review stuff, um, this afternoon. And I need to finalize some uh, gift 
ideas slash shop for them. I don't know if that's going to happen today. Um, and our very, very good friends had a baby yesterday. We're so excited. Um, I mean, we grew up with them, basically. Dan and... Um, you know, the, the, the dad are like best friends, you know, brothers from another mother type of situation. So, um, we're just so, so happy for them. They had a baby girl and she, I mean, they were at our Christmas party on Saturday night. They went into the hospital that like morning at like 3.30 in the morning. So like shortly after they left our house for the party, they were at the hospital and then the baby was born around like two in the afternoon on Sunday. So we're so happy, another baby girl to add to the, the group. It's just so fun. So it was a very exciting, very, very exciting weekend that we just had and we are just, you know, uh, just going into this last week of Christmas in a very jolly mood, I have to say. I'm, you know, I'm sad to see Christmas ending, like I see that it's ending in the, in the distance, but I mean, this week is just gonna be amazing. We're pretty happy. So, I'm um, just gonna keep cleaning today and take you along with me. for the most part. It's not like deep cleaned or anything. It's just tidy. I thought I would show you our Christmas decor for this year. Again, it's really pretty simple for me. I didn't put out a lot of my decor, but it's still festive, so I thought I'd share. So starting in the living room, we actually took out Lara's swing for the party, and I actually kind of really like how it opens up the room a little bit more. We probably won't put anything there again now that we're hopefully selling. So over here on the console, I have just a little grouping, sort of a, I don't know, compilation of a few different things that I liked. Some trees and some ornaments and some bottle brush trees I bleached last year. Um, so that's just like a little arrangement there. My Noel pillow and my um, favorite Amazon Buffalo Check pillows. And that's a thrifted red blanket. Up here on the shelf, I have these little, um, they look very vintage deer. I don't think that they're that old, to be honest, but I like how they looked, and I got them at a garage sale this past summer. I think they were like 25 cents each. And up there, I have a thrifted um, candle holder. So that's really simple on that side. And here is our tree. This year, instead of a star or an angel or anything like that, I got this banner at Michael's and I just thought that that looked really cute as a topper. So that's what we did this year. Again, this is a faux tree. We didn't get a real tree this year because I already had this. So I figured why not just use it? So just keeping it real, I never printed the pictures of the girls to put in the frames. I guess I still have a week to do it and I really should because I mean, this is not our family, so I need to print out some pictures. But just to show you a few that I really love, um, a subscriber sent me some true vintage ornaments that I really love. There's a few just um, scattered around here. This is another one. Gorgeous. I love them. Thank you so much, Christina. Here's Evie. Um, these are like some terracotta ones that you can actually, I think, fill with potpourri or something, but I just um, leave them as is. I love these soft Santas. These are some cinnamon applesauce ornaments that Evie and I made last year, so she loves to smell them. This one, I don't know where it came from, but I really love him. He's really delicate in glass. Um, what else? These, a very good friend of mine gave me, the Marion Bright from Target. This was Evie's special ornament this year from Target. These ornaments I made many years ago. They just have curled up pieces of music in them. This was Evie's handprint last year. And then we have a letter E for her. And yeah, so those are some of my very favorites. Of course, I gotta have my Starbucks mug there. So that's our tree this year. Red and silver and a little bit vintagey. And then the Noel banner at the top. So over on this built-in, nothing really at the top. I just moved some antlers up there, but my very first Goodwill Challenge Santa, of course he has to be here. And then a little vintage tin that's Christmassy. This was from Pottery Barn, but I got it on super sale. This little globe, a little car, and the Gift of the Magi, which is one of my absolute favorite Christmas books. 
And then over here on the couch, I just have the same pillows I always have, but this Merry Christmas pillow was from a thrift store. And I really love the font on it and the little woodland Christmassy theme. And then over here is our nativity scene, which gets moved around. But for now, it's intact. So that's there. And the girls are at a good age that Evie, you know, knows that she needs to be gentle with it. And Lara can't yet get to it. On the top of our entryway cabinet here is where I put all of my mercury glass trees that I love oh so much. They are some of my favorite things to decorate with. So I just put a little collection of them up there because I figured they were out of the way and I wanted to use them, but I didn't actually want to put them on the mantle this year. So this is what our mantle looks like this year. I just put these two mercury glass um, like pillars. So I did this before we put our house on the market or while it was on the market for that one weekend because um, I just wanted really simple and and like classy kind of you know for the listing photos and for people to see it. This frame I mean this isn't normally here but I got this frame on clearance at Target when I was out shopping and I printed a picture of the girls so I just have it there for now and then another picture of the girls on the other side. Um, and then our stockings are here like you guys have seen that is not normally there but it's there it's made its way there so <laughs> that's what the the fireplace looks like this year and then this year for our cards I normally put them up the um, banister on our staircase like last year I had some garland here and this is where I put our cards but this year I didn't do the garland as you saw so I've just been piling them here in this corner in our kitchen and as far as the dining room, you guys have pretty much seen this. Um, nothing going on on the table. Just my phone because I'm waiting for the attorney to call. Um, this is kind of like Santa's little workshop over here, I guess. Um, but all this is the same. That lamp was thrifted. So really just here is the, the Christmassy things, Evie's books and little Noel. Good job. And then over here, you guys saw this for the Goodwill Challenge, my vintage ice bucket and some straws and marshmallows. So... Just really, really simple this year. Okay, for lunch, I'm just gonna have like a smorgasbord of leftovers from the party. So I have hummus and olives, I have some leftover vegetable dip, and some multigrain crackers, some more of the pumpernickel bread. Obviously, I'll just have some of that. Um, we have so much fruit in here from the party yesterday. We have like tomatoes and carrots and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna make like a little dip platter, um, and that's gonna be lunch today. Okay, so I just put on a little bit of makeup because I filmed a video. I filmed what I'm giving Dan for Christmas. I also want to film what I'm giving Evie for Christmas, but she's here still, so I can't do that. Um, but Lara is napping. Evie is still crafting. She is still, she's sitting on the table, but she is making these little um, envelopes and she's writing everyone's names on them. Some she's just totally like writing you know, her own self, like she's not even asking me, like this was Sebastian, which is her little cousin, her little baby cousin, right? And your friend Bree, you spelled B-R-I all by yourself. Good job, Evie, you are doing, I'm very impressed. So I need to charge my battery now because it's dying. So I'm gonna do that. I, have never, I haven't heard back from the attorney yet, which is a bummer, this but hopefully I'll hear from him perfect. today at some point. Um, because we got to get things moving on the house. So I'm going to go ahead actually and wrap Dan's presents so that he doesn't see them. Um, now that I've filmed that for you guys, I can go ahead and wrap them and get that done. So I'm going to charge my battery. See you in a little bit. All right, it's five to six and I'm making dinner. Evie literally sat at that table and crafted slash wrote letters to her friends and like drew pictures and wrote their names and did all that for like three hours. I couldn't even believe that she still like stayed there and did that. And then eventually she lost interest in that and she got out like her workbooks and started writing in her workbooks and doing like tracing and tracing over letters and I just like kept just letting her do it. I mean, it was amazing. So I got a lot done. I kind of forgot that we were gonna go visit the baby tonight. So Dan called me and reminded me. I was like, oh yeah. So, um, and we've literally been cleaning like all day. This house was a disaster after that party, but it's okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna make something quick. I'm gonna make stir fry. So I have all my ingredients out here, just some veggies and chicken, and I'm making rice right now. I'm gonna watch some YouTube. All right, so there is dinner. The stir fry is all finished up. It is just about seven o'clock. I actually did get a call from the um, lawyers. We got everything sorted out. I have some more things too. Um, take care of tomorrow, some documents and things I have to get.
copies of. So I'm just gonna call the night here and um, we're just probably gonna get home, you know, we're gonna go to the hospital and then get home and go to bed. So I'm gonna call it a vlog. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Take care guys, bye.